And I'm joined by Nancy Grace, who's covered this trial from the very beginning. Nancy, Casey says the why, why she never called 911, is that her father, who allegedly sexually abused her from ages 8 to 11, so deeply traumatized her that all she was doing was following his directive. Does this change anything for you? It changes nothing. She would have us believe that for the next 30 plus days, her father was calling her and giving her instructions as to how to behave. That doesn't make sense. But she's saying she's so traumatized as a victim of sexual assault. I'm not talking about sex assault. I'm talking about murdering a little child. Nancy, what do you make of the fact that Casey has become so close with her legal team that represented her all these years. They have potluck dinners together and they deeply, deeply, deeply believe her. I think everyone in this case has made their fortune off the body of Kelly Anthony. They're in it thick as thieves. You see Casey in tears. You see George so calm. One of the two of them is a complete pathological human being. You can't see. Who is the liar? I'm going to get you another pair of glasses. You are 100% sure she murdered her child? Yes, I am 100% sure. If she agreed to do an interview with you because she's so sure of all this, would you do it? I don't know. I don't think top mom Casey Anthony would sit still for me to cross-examine her. I don't think that'll ever happen. Nancy Grace, unmoved, unflinching, unsurprising. Thank you.